DSLR cameras are a popular tool for video activists because of their high image quality and their ability to manipulate depth of field. A common challenge is using the most appropriate depth of field for your filming situation. This video will explain depth of field and how you can control it to optimize your video. Depth of field is a term used to describe the area of your image that appears in focus. With DSLR cameras, you can manipulate the focus or sharpness of various planes of the visual image for different effect. Shallow focus means that you have a small depth of field and only a part of the image looks sharp. A shallow focus is often used for interviews to separate the interviewee from the background and make the picture look more dynamic. Deep focus means that you have a large depth of field and more of your image looks sharp. Deep focus is often utilized for landscape shots so that both foreground and background are clear. Deep focus can be useful for filming live events such as protests because you capture a wider range of what's happening. It also ensures that everything stays in focus while you move around. Deep focus is also important when filming for evidentiary purposes, to capture as much detail as possible. Let's look at three main factors that will allow you to better control your camera's depth of field. With a fixed lens, the closer the camera is to the main subject, the shallower the focus. The further the camera is to the main subject, the deeper the focus. The type of lens that you're using will also have an effect on your camera's depth of field. Wide-angle lenses will have more depth of field than telephoto lenses. If, for example, you're using a 24 to 70 mm zoom lens, filming at 24 mm will provide a deeper depth of field than if you were to film at 70 mm. Finally, your camera's aperture or f-stop setting is an easy way to control depth of field. This setting controls the amount of light your camera's iris or aperture allows to reach your camera's sensor. Most DSLR cameras will have a manual function that allows you to control your camera's f-stop while filming. The lower the f-stop number, the more the aperture will be open, giving you a more shallow focus. With a higher f-stop number, the aperture will be more closed, giving you a deeper focus. Let's look at a simple action of a woman walking into the frame to show the effect f-stop has on your image. We'll start at a low f-stop of f2.8. Notice how there is a limited amount of space where she appears in focus. Watch how, as we increase the f-stop, the more space there is where she appears in focus. By f22, just about everything seems in focus, even with her very far in the background. You'll see a dramatic difference between f2.8 on the left and f22 on the right. Notice that as we increase the f-stop, the darker the image appears. The lower your f-stop is, the more light enters the camera, and the higher the f-stop, the less amount of light. This means that while filming with a low f-stop, you'll get better results if there is less light. While filming in a high f-stop, you'll need more light for proper exposure.